In this week's tip, I'm going to show you how to float an entire dashboard and filters at the same time. Uh, but first, before I do that, let's go ahead and take a look at the issue that I am talking about. So um, generally, you know, if you if you kind of float a filter on a dashboard, when you publish it up the Tableau Public, the filter moves around and it's no longer exactly where you want it to. So let's start by looking at an example here. So I'm just going to go to one of my sheets. And let's say that I want to be able to allow the user to filter on the make of the car. So for now, I'm just going to choose all. And uh, I also have a, um, uh, let's see, a sheet here that has the top five. So I'm going to need to go ahead. I want to apply this to everything in the data source. And then I also want to add it to context so that my top five uh, will not change. All right, so I go here, and it doesn't really matter which one of these sheets I pick. And I go ahead and I show my make filter. And it pops it up on the right here, right hand side here. I'm not really too concerned about that, um, but I'm going to go ahead and pick all. And uh, what I want to do now is I'm going to change this to a maybe just a single value dropdown. I'm, I only want my user to be able to pick one. I'm going to edit my title, um, select a make, and uh, I'm actually going to put a couple spaces before it so it lines up nice and neat. And now what I want to do is I want to float this because um, I want my dashboard to say just as wide as it was. Um, but uh, what I want to do now is I want to kind of just float it up here and I'm going to put a little border on it so it looks nice, uh, maybe something like that. Uh, I'm going to add in a bit of padding around the inside. So it kind of, but see now the size is a bit messed up. So I'm going to go ahead and maybe adjust the height of it a bit. And there we go, maybe something like that. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'm going to actually go ahead and make my title a bit bigger now. So let's make that maybe uh, 70. And all I want to do again is just float this filter just kind of right here. That's where I like it. Perfect. Now, what happens when I publish this up to Tableau Public? Well, the first thing is I need to create an extract. So let me extract the data. Uh, and I want to go ahead and remove that. Let's remove these two data source filters. And I'm going to just go ahead and save this somewhere. So let me, uh, let me just save it here. That's fine. And now I can go ahead, uh, let me go ahead and hide all the sheets. And I'm going to publish it up to the Tableau Public. So notice kind of where the filter is now. Uh, and I'm going to uh, save and then publish this up to Tableau Public. And this same thing will happen on your internal Tableau server. So it's, uh, it's another thing to be aware of. Uh, so let's see what happens when it publishes up to Tableau Public. Okay. So um, let's see here. So I say got it. And notice now my filter has changed ever so slightly. So it's a bit hard to see here. It looks like actually Tableau's fixed it quite a bit. Um, it changed my font, which is a bit annoying. Um, but yeah, anyway, so, um, but sometimes you'll see where, you know, publish up the Tableau public and it's like, you know, it moves like down to here or something like that. It's super annoying. So the way that I get around that is I've built my dashboard. And um, as I look at my dashboard, you can see the whole thing is tiled. So down here on the bottom left, uh, you'll see tiled is highlighted, right? So what I want to do is I want to select my very outer container. Uh, and I could do that by uh, just going down here and selecting my tile. And I'm going to go ahead and make a note of the sizes. So um, it looks like my size is 900 by 700 and my outer padding is eight. So let me go ahead. Oh, oops, sorry, I'm one container too far out. So I need to pick this container and it's 884 by 684. So let me go ahead and I'm going to now float this one. And it's going to screw up the size, but that's OK. So 884, uh, 684. And the starting position was eight and eight. Okay, oops, I, I changed the size of the wrong field there. Oh, that's really annoying. Uh, so let me change that back. All right, so I need to go ahead and pick this one again. And it uh, looks like it did the width. Uh, so, okay, this is uh, really annoying now. It looks like it's not going to let me uh, let me change the size of this. Okay, so let's try it a different way. Uh, let's make it floating. Great. Um, I want to start it at eight and eight, and then this should be eight eighty four and six eighty four. 
Okay, so now we're back to the size that we had, but my my um, uh, my filter's now in the back. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, move this to the front. So if I hit the little drop down, I can go ahead and floating order. I'm going to bring it to the front, and now we have a nice, uh, nicely. Uh, uh, it's now in the right position and everything is floating, but actually inside of this floating. So if I go to the very outside, you'll see that um, it is still tiled. Uh, but if I go outside one more, uh, it should be floating. But anyway, this whole dashboard now is floating um, and I have my select to make just sitting on top of it. So I'm going to go ahead and publish it again. I'm just going to overwrite what I did before. And when it gets up to Tableau Public, we're going to see that it uh, it uh, it's all floating nice and neat. And I say got it, and let's see if we can compare the two. So um, actually, it looks like maybe Tableau got a fix, but you are going to see times when this filter will move around, and when that happens, uh, just use this little tip on going to the very outside of this container and float that container. So if I go here, you'll see it's floating, uh, and then just float your filters kind of wherever you want, and everything will stay in the same order. Uh, and uh, all the alignment will will be retained. So start it as uh, build your dashboard as tiled, float the whole dashboard, and then layer your filters on top of that as floating. So hopefully you found that helpful, and have a good day.